Hey guys, and welcome back to Money Matters. I'm Chase, and in today's video, we shall be looking at seven things you don't know about Simple Living Alaska. To start us off, Eric and Ariel assembled a sawmill in 10 hours. They ordered a Norwood sawmill that took a while to get delivered, but once it was delivered, it took them 10 hours to assemble it. There were a few hitches, but overall, everything went smoothly. The sawmill uses the water auto lop system that uses water and a bit of dish soap to help turn the blade that cuts the wood. They're using the sawmill to cut logs to build their log cabin. They built an earth root cellar with sandbags. They have a small cabin that can't fit all of the food that they want to store, so they came up with the idea of building an earth bag root cellar in the ground. During the winter, they keep their cabin very warm and most of the food doesn't fare well in warm temperatures. To ensure the produce and canned food last longer, they need to be kept at almost freezing temps. They also don't have a fridge because they live off grid, but they have a chest freezer that they only use during the summer. They use sandbags to build their root cellar. They use sandbags that you put in soil when you temper it down to hold firmly on the ground. It's cheaper, they outlast a wooden structure, and they're water repellent factor, which means they're ideal for putting underground since they don't easily break down. They practice natural beekeeping. They practice small cell beekeeping and she has three hives. They sometimes buy wax to help with cell foundation and just put a frame in the box with some starter strips and they let the bees make their own foundation. They also don't treat the bees in case they get sick. Ariel has been learning about beekeeping for a few years and she's getting better at it. She wants the bees to be healthy, which will in turn give her good quality honey. They ferment their chicken feed. They ferment their chicken feed, which helps to bring down the cost of buying it and the chickens love it. They soak the grains in buckets of water for a day each and repeat the process for two days. They use a manual honey extractor to extract the honey from the combs. They bought a manual honey extractor from a beekeeper that they'll use to extract the honey from the combs without destroying them. It's a huge aluminum bucket with pegs where they place six frames with the honeycombs and they move the handle to spin the combs. This will extract the honey and leave the combs intact. They pick wild berries. Alaska has a very good climate for berries and they go out at the beginning of September to pick a variety of wild berries and huckleberries high in the mountains. The berries come in different shapes and colors and are very delicious. Thanks for watching.